Hey guys, David here from Google 5 Tech Tutorials and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a GIF or GIF from a YouTube video. Okay, so let's get started. Now, for those of you who don't know, there actually is a big debate on the internet about whether or not this is pronounced GIF or GIF. I'm going to be pronouncing it as GIF throughout the video, just so you're aware. However, basically what I'm going to be showing you how to do is how to create a GIF from a YouTube video that you can upload to social media websites. Okay, now for those of you who do know, there are a lot of websites out there that claim to be able to make GIFs from YouTube videos. However, in my experience, I haven't had much success with those, and the ones that I have had success with, you have to register for, which is kind of inconvenient. I recommend this program here, and this is what I'm going to be using in the video. It's called InstaGiffer. You can go ahead and go to instagiffer.com and download it. It's for both Windows and Mac. The Mac is a beta version, however, it does work like an official release, so don't let the beta version shy away from downloading this program. So once you're on this website, under the download section, download it for Windows if you have Windows, and download it for OS X if you have Mac. And the reason I say to use this program is because, in my experience, it has always given me the highest success rate in terms of making GIFs from YouTube videos. Okay, so the next thing that you're going to need to do is you're going to need to find the YouTube video that you want to make a GIF from. So I'm just going to be using one of my YouTube videos here just for the purpose of this tutorial, just so that it doesn't get taken down for copyright issues. So the first thing that you're going to do is once you find the video, you're going to want to mark the spot in the video that you want to make the GIF starting at. So in my case, I'm just going to put it at 426 because I have text flying in, so I thought that that would be a good example for this purpose. So anyways, once you've decided on the spot, just take note of the number. So in my case, it's 426. And up here in your browser, just copy the link. Go ahead and open up InstaGiffer, which you downloaded earlier. Paste the link. And hit Load Video. Now it'll just take a minute to load the video here. Okay, so now it has finally finished downloading the video. That probably took about three or four minutes. And the first thing that you're going to want to do is up here... Besides start time, you're going to want to type in the start time that we took note of earlier. Okay, so the boxes here go from hours to minutes to seconds to hundredth seconds. So mine was 4 minutes and 26 seconds. It'll just take a minute to load that part of the video up. And now you have your duration. So for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm just going to move this up to 5 seconds. However, you can make this as big as you'd like. Keep in mind, though, that a longer duration will make the file bigger, and some social media sites will not accept bigger files. You also have your smoothness slider here, so this is your frames per second. So again, a higher frames per second rate will make the file bigger, so just keep that in mind. I'm just going to change this to 10. You also have frame size, which is the resolution of the GIF. You have quality, brightness, playback rate, so you could slow down or speed up the GIF. You also have a few effects here, and you can also add captions if you'd like. However, for the purpose of this video, just to keep things nice and short, I'm not going to go too in-depth with that. Finally, you can also crop it a bit over here in this viewable region window if you'd like, so you can zoom in on things if you'd like. Again, I'm just going to leave that at the default size. Anyways, so once you're happy with all your settings, just hit Create GIF, and it'll just take a minute or two to go ahead and create the GIF from the YouTube video. Okay, so once it's done, you might get this warning here. It'll tell you that the file size is too big to be uploaded to Tumblr. So like I said earlier, if you want to make the file size a bit smaller, you could just change the duration, smoothness, frame size, quality, and stuff like that. If you lower those, it'll make the file a bit smaller so it can be uploaded to Tumblr. If you get this, just hit OK. And you should see here that it opens up the gif and it plays it back for us so that we could see a preview of what it looks like here now i've gone ahead and closed insta jiffer and just in case you were wondering where it stores the gif it's right here on my desktop so i can go ahead and look at that or i can upload it to social media sites so thanks for watching and i hope i helped if you like this video don't forget to hit the like button down below don't forget to rate comment and subscribe for more and also don't forget to check out my facebook and twitter page also don't forget to check out my website at www.gugudif5techtutorials.com all the links are in the description below.